This video is about good fish handling and hygiene during fishing. It has been made to help you make the most of the fish you catch and provide your buyers with good quality, safe fish. What happens to the fish you catch and how you look after it will affect not only the price you receive but also the benefits it can give to processors, traders and to the final consumers. If you don't look after your fish well, then you get a low price and the fish can become dangerous for the consumer to eat. Before watching this video, you should first watch the Introduction to Fish Handling and Good Practice video which tells you why fish goes bad and gives you basic ideas on good practice. In this video, you will learn about how to handle fish well when you go fishing. You will learn about how to handle fish well at the landing. You will also learn how to keep the fish clean. You will sometimes see this red cross which tells you that what you are seeing is not good. You will sometimes see this green tick which tells you that you are seeing something which is a good practice and which you should try and do. As you go through this video, your trainer will stop so you can share what you have learned. Let us look at some of the things you should be doing when you go fishing to maintain the quality and safety of your fish and stop bacteria and enzymes from making it go bad. Lesson 1. Handle fish well on board. Leaving your gear in the water for too long will give bacteria and enzymes a chance to start making fish that have died go bad. Always try to lift your gear sooner rather than later as soon as a fish dies. Even if it is in your fishing gear, bacteria and enzymes will start to make it go bad. Always use the right fishing gear and methods stated in the regulations. These methods are to be used for a good reason. Gear and methods which are not allowed will be harmful to the resource and your business in the future or will harm the consumer. Try to remove fish from the gear carefully and put it in clean containers. Do not throw your fish into the bottom of the canoe. Avoid damaging your fish during fishing. Don't drop, throw, or stand on it as this will just make it go bad more quickly. Remember, be cold if you can. Try to use ice and ice the fish as soon as possible after catching it. To ice fish well, use one kilogram of ice for every one kilogram of fish. Put a layer of ice in the bottom of the box, then a layer of fish, then a layer of ice again, and so on. Use good quality clean ice that is in small pieces. Get your ice from a reputable supplier. Put a lid on the container to stop the ice melting quickly. If you need to, then add more ice during fishing. Ice keeps the fish cold and bacteria don't like cold temperatures. If you are not able to use ice, then you need to keep your fish covered with a clean tarpaulin or cloth that is kept wet. The wet tarpaulin will protect your fish from the heat of the sun and as it dries out, it will cool your fish also. But remember, it must be clean and kept wet. You can still use a clean fish box, as this will protect the fish from dirt and damage. Lake sardines are an important resource and need to be handled well also. During fishing, you might make several catches. 
Try not to mix the catches because the first catch can spread bacteria and enzymes to the other catches, making them spoil quickly. Lake sardines can be kept safely in special plastic boxes to protect them from damage and contamination. A good way to stop bacteria and maintain the quality of lake sardines is to mix them with salt as soon as possible after catching and before landing. It is best to use at least 3 kilograms of salt for every 100 kilograms of fish. Adding salt like this also helps keep the fish's silver color and will help you get a better price for the fish. More salt can be added, but it will depend on your buyer's demands. Once you have finished fishing, then be quick. Don't delay your journey back to shore. The longer you take to get back, the more time bacteria and enzymes will have to make your fish go bad. In other words, when you're fishing, be cold, quick, gentle, and clean. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to discuss what you have learned. Can you tell us what do we mean by be cold, quick, gentle, and clean during fishing? Lesson 2. Handle fish well at landing. Your job in looking after fish well does not end when you get back to the shore. When you take the fish out of the canoe, it should be carried in boxes. This will protect your fish from damage and dirt. If you use ice or if you don't use ice, always put your fish in the shade to protect it from the heat of the sun. Remember, bacteria like warmth. If you have iced your fish when fishing, check to see if you should add more ice when you get to shore. If you did not take ice with you, then you should try to buy ice at the landing and use it. Remember to always use good quality ice and never use old ice. Remember, a layer of ice, a layer of fish. Also remember, ice is money, so don't waste it. If you can't get ice, then cover the fish with a wet tarpaulin or cloth to keep it cool. Try not to delay the selling process. The longer you wait to sell your fish, then the more time bacteria and enzymes have to make it go bad. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to discuss what you have learned. Can you tell us what you should do when you get to the shore to make sure you maintain the quality of fish? Lesson 3. Keep your fish clean. As well as being cold, quick and gentle, we also need to be clean. So let us look at how to be clean when fishing so we stop bacteria and dirt getting onto the fish. One thing we can do to maintain the quality of fish is to wash it in clean water. This will get rid of some bacteria and any dirt. Wash fish as soon as possible after catching. Always use running water or change the water regularly. If you don't, then you will get what we call bacteria soup. Another way of keeping your fish clean is to keep yourself clean and practice good hygiene. This means washing your hands before and after handling fish and after you have been to the toilet. 
Wear clean clothes for fishing. Cover any wounds up and avoid wearing jewelry. Avoid spitting and other bad habits that will contaminate the fish. It is important to keep the canoe clean and free of bacteria and other things which can contaminate the fish, like oil, fuel, and dirty water. A detergent or strong soap is good for removing dirt. A disinfectant will kill bacteria. Remember to use clean water for washing and rinsing. Make sure all the disinfectant is washed away, as this can also contaminate the fish. Dispose of the dirty water with soap and disinfectant properly. Don't put it in the lake, where it can harm the environment. Wood is not an easy thing to clean well, and bacteria can still live in the wood even after you have cleaned it well. To help make wood easy to clean and stop bacteria from living in it, you can paint the wood using a non-toxic paint. It is also important to keep your equipment, such as boxes and knives, clean of dirt and bacteria, as these things will be in contact with the fish. So if you want to land and sell the best quality fish and get the best price, then be cold, quick, gentle, and last but not least, be clean. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to discuss what you have learned. Can you tell us how can we keep fish clean? What have we learned? The first thing you learned about was how to handle fish well. You learned why you should always use the right fishing gear, not leave fishing gear in water too long, how to handle fish well, and use ice. The importance of being quick to return to shore and sell the fish. The message is that handling fish well means you slow down bacteria and enzymes, stopping them from making your fish go bad. And always remember to be cold, quick, gentle, and clean. You also learned about the importance of using boxes, eyes, and not delaying the selling process when you get back to the landing site. The other thing you learned about was how to keep your fish clean. You saw that washing fish is good, that keeping yourselves clean is good, and that you need to keep the canoe and equipment clean also. The message is that you should avoid contaminating your fish with dirt and bacteria. You should always be cold, quick, gentle, and clean. <laughs>